Okay, we have written another integral. This one's from the MIT integration, be 2018, number 14. You have the integral sine 2x minus sine squared x over cosine 2x minus cosine squared x dx. Okay, to get started with this, the thing I thought was interesting was there has to be like a million ways to do this one because there's so many options. Because we can use trick identities on any one of these things. We can use double angle formula here and here. Or we could use power reduction here and here to get this everything as a double angle. There just seems to be a lot of different options. And I'm not sure what's the best way. So what I'm going to do is to start with, I'm going to get everything into just the single angle. So we have everything with just x. So I'll use the double angle identity here and here. So for sine 2x, I can write this as 2 sine x cos x. And then what we'll do next is we'll do the same thing on cosine. But there's three different versions of this double angle formula for cosine we can use. So what I'm going to do on it is I want to get some cancellation with this. So I'm going to use, I think what I'm going to do is let's do cosine squared x minus sine squared x for our double angle formula here. And then we have this minus cosine squared x. I like that because then this one's going to cancel with this one. I could take this minus sign and this 2 out front of the integral. So when we do that, we're going to have minus 2 in front. For the numerator, we've got sine in common here and here. Let's factor out a sine. So we have, we'll write this as sine x, cosine x minus sine x. And then that's going to give me some cancellation because we just have now sine squared x in the denominator. We'll cancel one, we'll cancel one of these with, the, with one of these. Then I can just cancel one of these with one of these from the denominator. And then from here, let's just split this up on the minus sign into two integrals. So for the first one, we're going to have minus 2 cotangent x, but I think I'll just leave it like cosine x over sine x. And actually, I'm realizing my mistake right now. I took this 2 out front of the integral, but I can't really do that because the 2 is not distributed on this sine squared x here. So really, let me put this back. And so, so let me just put this back. If we have this 2 here, then this one's fine. We have minus 2 cosine over sine x. But then for the second integral, I'm going to distribute in this minus sine to the minus here. We have a plus. But then sine over sine is going to cancel and just be 1. So the second integral, we're just integrating 1 dx. And now I'll just go ahead and integrate it. We have our minus 2 up front here. This one, derivative of sine is going to be cosine. Or you could remember the formula for cotangent. Or you could remember the formula for integrating cotangent. Either way, this is just going to be natural log absolute value sine x. Integrating 1 is just going to be a plus x. So for my final solution of this, we just have x minus 2 natural log sine x add a plus c and that's it okay so there you have it i hope you guys noticed that i got a new board and i'm realizing i'm kind of i'm zoomed in so i'm kind of running in running out of space over here like there's a dx over here and hopefully this gets fits in hopefully you can see this on the board okay there you have it good one today from mit 2018 thanks everyone for watching have a good day